all right everyone very good morning very good evening welcome back to my channel this is malik arjun here uh, here i am again with uh, one more exciting topic on the pdb state how we can save a particular pdb state and which is going to reflect every time when we bounce our container database when we bounce our cdb database whatever the state of the pdb we stored it it will be reflected every time we bounce our cdb that's a quick uh, demo i'm going to demonstrate on this today's session right let's quickly jump on to my lab exercise here so one of my lab server oracle prod server where i have created my prod cdb container database let's set the environment and log into that particular cdb environment and see how many uh, pdbs are created inside that right i have set the environment to my cdb and i'm going to run this env grep capital vara which is going to display which environment variables are set let's log into that particular cdb database sql plus slash ssdb i'm going to use os authentication to log in and very first command i'm going to list out what all the pdbs are created inside this particular prod cdb this is a container database inside that how many pdbs are created by running this command show pdbs that's going to list out the list of currently existing pdbs in this particular cdb there are so many other pdbs created and dropped but right now we have these three custom pdbs created by me and this pdb dollar seed which is a default template comes with every cdb and whatever after that these are our custom pdbs i have created a pdb1 pdb2 and ora odb1 these are the three pdbs created and which are in read write mode right fair enough now what i'm going to do i'm going to exit i'm going to connect back and remember here all these pdbs the state are in read write mode the moment i do shut immediate i'm going to i have connected to my cdb i'm going to shut down my cdb shut immediate and then once your cdb is down and later you can start your cdb back online once you start your cdb back online automatically underlining all the pdb supposed to come online and supposed to go to this read write mode but let's observe which mode they will be in once i start it back my cdb database right database is closed your cdb database is closed and cdb database is dismounted and cdb instance is shut down fair enough and exit do psf and ef just to verify everything is down right nothing is running everything is down connect back sql plus ss dba and see connected to idle instance your cdb is down now i'm going to do startup right now once my database instance started database is mounted and database is opened that is my cdb database is get opened and again we were going to run the same show pdb command and see my pdb status my database instance started database is mounted and database is opened that cdb database is got opened right run that command show pdbs all the pdbs are default went into mount mode but right. again remember guys your cdb database is typically follow your startup sequence from shutdown from shutdown to no mount from no mount to mount and mount to open so typically my cdb will follow this one from shutdown to no mount it'll going to read sp file or the p file it'll open it'll go into no mount mode from no mount to mount it'll going to read the control file and my database will go from no mount to mount mode from mount to open it'll going to read all the data files and all the read log files by reading all the data files and read log files my database will go to open mode that's a typical start of sequence for my cdb but whereas underlining the cdb this is a cdb startup sequence and underlining the cdb we have so many pdbs right so many pdbs so these pdbs have only two states one is close and other one is open so the close is nothing but the mount mode whatever the seeing mount mode mounted whatever you are seeing this mounted it's a closed state the open mode is read and write whatever you see here read and write mode that is your open mode and whatever this mounted here it's a closed mode right 
So whenever, every time you bounce your CDB, you have to open all the PDBs. If you have 100 PDBs, you have to open all those 100 PDBs. For example, I'm going to open one PDB now here. Let's see. Let's keep this diagram as it is here. And now I'm going to open one PDB, right? Running this command, alter, pluggable, database, and my PDB one open. So one PDB, your pluggable database altered and PDB got opened. Run this command again, show PDBs, right? PDB one, which is in read write mode. So if you have 100 PDBs, you have to run this 100 command to open all the 100 PDBs. That's going to be tedious. Is there any shortcut command that? Yes, we have a shortcut command. Alter pluggable database all open. So I'm mentioning here all. All means if there's 100 PDBs, all 100 PDBs, let's open it. That's the meaning of this all. Now, if I mention all these two PDBs, PDB2 and ORA ODB1, these both the PDBs which are in closed state, mounted means closed state. Here you can see mounted means closed state. Both will get opened with this single command here. Right now, run the show command, show PDBs. Right, fair enough. So, but why should I do every time when I open my CDB? Why should I run this all open PDB command one more time? I don't want to do that extra command. The moment I open my CDB, automatically all the PDB should get opened. How can I do that one? That is nothing but the save a PDB state. You can save all this PDB state, whatever the state they are in, in that respective state, so that whenever you shut down your CDB and start your CDB, automatically your all PDBs will get opened. Let's see, I can close this particular PDB. I don't want this PDB to open when we when I open my CDB. So I'm gonna close this one by running this alter pluggable database and PDB one, this Vora ODB one, close. Right, so PDBs are closed. So I want this state. Two PDB one and PDB two should be in open mode and my Vora ODB should be in mounted mode whenever I bounce my CDB. This is a state I want to save it. How I can do that one? Right now I can check this particular command. What is the current state? Select name state from V$ PDBs from this PDB saved state where container ID equal to B dot container ID. That's gonna give me what is the current saved state. Right now I have not saved any state. Default, all will go to mount mode. Once I bounce, Bounce this particular CDB, all went into mount mode. That's the default mode for all the PDBs. Right now, I don't have any saved state. And you can check it one more time using this saved PDB state. Select container name, instance name, state from CDB underscore PDB underscore saved underscore state, which will give you what is the current saved state of your PDBs. Right now, I don't have any saved state. Right now, what I'll do, alter pluggable database alter pluggable database pdb1 save state it means pdb1 is in read write mode that state will be saved right it's saved let's go ahead and check this one pdb1 and which is in open mode that is saved and if i run the same command that also will give me the same output the pdb1 which is in open mode that nothing but read write mode which is saved and let's go ahead and then do it for the other two PDBs as well, running the same command. Alter pluggable database and PDB2 and save state. Done. Second PDB is also saved. Just run this command and verify it. Right, PDB1 open, PDB2 open, both the states are saved. And do the same thing for the other PDB. That is Aura ODB1 and save state. Right, now run the same command. Right, PDB1, PDB2, both are opened and PDB, whatever this Aura ODB, save state, which is down and which will not be displayed here. Check for the other query now here, the very first query. Is that here, P dot container ID. Right, same thing, PDB1, open, PDB2, open. And as good as if the PDB is in down or closed state, 
the save state it doesn't matter because the default state is closed so you no need to do again the save state of a pdb which is already in closed state so that will not be like reflect anything as good as you are running the command or not running the command remain same because default mode is closed whenever you bounce your cdv will be in closed mode okay let's go ahead and round shut down your cdb database and start it and the moment shut immediate and then start your cdb again both the pdb1 and pdb2 automatically get opened and your vara odb1 will be in mounted mode you have to manually start that that's a useful case of save state whatever the state of the pdb you can save it so that whenever you bounce your cdb the save your pdb will be get opened to that particular state right your database is closed database is dismounted instance is shut down and i'm going to do start up now All right, now do show PDBs. Show PDBs. And you can see PDB1, PDB2, both are in read-write mode. And Aura ODB1 is mounted because we are not saved the state. Again, verify by running this command, it will be same. Both your PDB1 and PDB2 were in open mode, saved it. And both, let's run this command. That's also remain same, it's open mode. Right, fair enough, both one and two. Uh, your PDB1, which is in open mode, PDB2, which is in open mode, both are same. So now, last thing, I want to discard these two states. How I can do that one? Same command, alter, alter pluggable database, PDB1, and I want to discard that, whatever the saved state, I want to remove it discard state it means i'm removing it whatever i state i saved it i don't want to save it anymore discarded just run this command it will be discarded right you have only pdb2 pdb1 is discarded same thing ultra pluggable database pdb2 discard state done so run the same command and verify it done no row selected all right now if you bounce it one more time all will go back to the same state. All will be in mount mode manually. You have to open it again. All right. So that's a simple demonstration. Wanted to show it for today's uh, session. Uh, let's see you all in the next new session, guys. Thank you.